Hi, I'm scientist Ariana, or as my students call me, Miss Ibarra. I bet you're wondering why I'm holding my dog and why I have this plant next to me. Well, we all have something in common. We're all made out of cells. Cells are what makes us living. My dog and I both are made out of animal cells, and this plant has plant cells. Each of them have individual structures inside of them that make them unique and different. By the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to assemble your own plant or animal cell or even both cells. Now, one important thing about cells, as you get more in detail about cells, there are two types of cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. If you'd like to learn more about prokaryotic or eukaryotic cells, feel free to look into our Dig Deeper resources at the end of this lesson. In every cell and every animal and plant cell, there is something important called the nucleus. The nucleus is an organelle that is commonly found in the middle of the cell it holds genetic information, your DNA, and it controls all the other organelles functions. Basically, the nucleus is like the boss of the cell. It tells the cell what to do and how to work. So it could be the boss at your job or your parents' job or like the principal at your school. The next organelle I'm going to introduce is the mitochondria. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. It makes energy to be used in the cell and it looks like a little kidney bean. The mitochondria can be compared to a battery, a powerhouse, like an energy drink, something that gives you energy. Remember it as the mighty mitochondria. The next one is the cell membrane. So the cell membrane acts as a gate and barrier to the inside of the cell. It checks and scans molecules by letting them inside of the cell. So it's gonna be picky on what it let goes, what it's letting go in and out of the cell and it's semi-permeable which means only certain things come in and out of the cell because of the cell membrane think of the cell membrane as a fence to your house the fence keeps things in like dogs or cats and it keeps things from going out as they would let go and please hey there i'm professor r and i'm with the teach houston program let's talk about the cytoplasm the cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance that holds the rest of the organelles together and it also gives the cell its shape. It's a very vital organelle because without the cytoplasm, the cell wouldn't function. When I think about the cytoplasm, I think of it as the water in the pool. Without the water in the pool, would it considered be a pool? Look at the picture of the jello. You see how it keeps the rest of the fruits together and also in place? That's basically what the cytoplasm does. Lysosomes are tiny sacs in the cell. They are filled with digestive enzymes that help them remove unwanted waste from the cell. When I think of lysosomes, I usually think about the trash bin in the house or the recycle bin in the computer. Their job is to keep their environment clean. Now before I let you guys go, I want to talk about my favorite organelle, which is ribosome. Ribosomes are like tiny factories in the cell. Their function is to make proteins that perform all sorts of functions for the cell's operation. Ribosomes can be found on a rough ER or they could be found wandering around in the cell. Greetings, young biologists. Now that both uh, scientists have discussed with you the organelles that are found both in animal and plant cell types, as well as how their functions perform the same role in each respective cell, we will now discuss organelles that can only be found in a plant cell type and an organelle that is found in both animal and plant cell types, but their function is slightly different in each type of cell. Let's talk about the vacuole. The vacuole can be found in both the animal and the plant cell type. The vacuole serves as a storage of food, nutrients, and it could also serve as a waste disposal. Think of it as your fridge that you find in your kitchen where you store your food, you later eat it, you gain energy. That's what the vacuole serves as or functions as in both of these cell types. It stores the food that they will later use for energy. So the vacuole that you find in the animal cell type is very small, but there are several vacuoles. While it, the vacuole you find in a plant cell type is only one. Have you guys ever wondered why a plant or a flower that you could perhaps find in your backyard or in a garden or while you're walking down the street 
why a flower stands so tall and does not bend over. They look so fragile that you think they'd fall over with their small stems, but they don't. And the reason for this is the cell wall organelle that can only be found in plant cell types. This cell wall is a rigid structure around the cell membrane. It helps plant cells maintain its shape during a period of excessive rainfall or a drought. It looks like a wall in, or a solid barrier around the cell membrane. As you can see for one example, this is true for all plant cell types, it's not specific to the bamboo, but it, for one example you can see my little bamboo here, um, that it stands tall, it doesn't bend or it fall over, and this is due to the cell wall you can find in the plant animal, uh, the plant cell types, excuse me, all over the plant. Another comparison you could make is that you could think of your cell phone, the phone case. You have a phone case on your phone because you want it not to break when it falls. So it's like a supporter for your phone. It supports your phone from falling and breaking apart. Finally, let us discuss the chloroplast. This organelle is not found in any type of animal cell. It is unique purely to the plant cell type and the chloroplast is a green-like organelle that is shaped like a bean and is the site of photosynthesis. The plant makes the food it consumes into energy, just like you would in the kitchen whenever you cook a meal, you would make a meal, eat it, and gain energy from that cooked meal once you consumed it. And this energy is later then used to perform any kind of activity you may need, like for running. It is the same function a chloroplast has inside a plant cell. Also inside these chloroplasts or a green-like substance we refer to as chlorophyll, which attracts sunlight that will later initiate the process known as photosynthesis. So now it is time for you to make your own cell. Remember, you are either making an animal or a plant cell, or if you'd like to, you can make both of them. You're going to be a biologist and make your own cell today, which is really exciting. Remember, it's okay if your cell looks different than the cells that we have shown you examples of. If you don't have certain materials, such as spaghetti, you can use straws. Feel free to use whatever materials you have around your house to make your plant cell.